Out of Towners. I'm Courtney Ann. And I'm Joe. And we're the Out of Town Browns. And today we are taking you across the sea. Across the Pacific. <laughs> Wait, it is across the sea. Yeah. Yeah. It's across. Yeah. We're going across the Pacific for the first. Oh, it's so specific? I'm very specific about the Pacific. And so we are going across the Pacific to go to Japan. Japan! We've never been to Asia. I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous, super nervous. I'm nervous too. I feel like we go so many places that we're comfortable, like Europe, Mexico, Canada, like places that are not, are in our comfort zone. So today we're going out of our comfort zone and we're going to Asia for the first time. Japan, I think is a good place to start. Um, we're going to go to Tokyo, Kyoto. We're there for eight days. So we're going to get to see kind of just the highlights of while we're there. And we've got a 12 hour flight today, direct from LAX to Narita Airport in Tokyo. So that's what we're taking you with us on today. And then when we get into Tokyo, we are going to be going to a Japanese onsen tonight, which is a traditional Japanese thermal bath where you get naked with strangers. Okay, we're going to dive right into this. <laughs> if you like this video, oh, we're not getting naked in this video, though, was the only thing. So that's what you're here for. You can click out of this video. You can that click was out of it. Part, yeah, that's sorry. a different video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you like this video, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared to hit the like button. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week of our travels around the world. Y'all. Okay. And now Asia. And now Asia. First Asia vlog. Here, we're here, we're doing it. Looks like everything's wrapping up for an on time departure uh, this morning. And um, it's a uh, update on how uh, our progress place is incredible. I already love the vibe so much. We've been here five minutes and we love it. <laughs> yep, already done. Okay, you guys, we just made it to Tokyo. We are at the Narita train station at the airport. We just transferred, transferred, we just exchanged our JR rail vouchers for our actual passes. It was so easy. There's multiple places you can do it in the airport. You can do it at the offices down here, down in the train station, or you can do it at the tourist center in the airport. We did it at the tourist center in the airport. We got the vouchers that we paid for online, just traded them in for our actual tickets. So now we are gonna get on our train to go to Shinjuku, which is the area that our hotel is in. The nice lady at the tourist office booked us reserved seats on the Narita Express to Shinjuku. So we just have to follow her instructions and get to our platform. Mm -hmm. Also, we went to our first Japanese little Oh yes, store. why don't you show them our haul? We got peach flavored water, or maybe it's an apple. I can't tell we really don't know what yet. that is. And then it looks like we got orange flavored water. So now we need to find, supposedly when you get your JRL pass, you have to go to a, an attendant. Yep, and get a stamp on your rail pass to make it valid. So that's our next step we're gonna do, is find that little gate where we get our stamp on our pass. Um, the JR pass, which is the Japanese rail pass, is valid on all JR lines throughout the country on the bullet trains. It's really, really helpful if you're gonna be spending some time in Japan. We got the seven day pass. So it works for every day that we're here, except for our final day. Um, we highly recommend it so far. It's been really easy, so we'll see what happens. Yep. So we got platform 36 is what we're shooting for. Please check your ticket to make sure you are in the correct seat. <laughs> 
I didn't do it right. Oh my god, my key. You have to do my key. Oh my gosh. We have a fancy room. Why do we have to do that? Guests staying on the 11th floor and above. 11, 11, 11. It's just a baby. It's so small. I don't care. Hashtag tired. Calm. Okay, you guys, welcome to our hotel in Tokyo. We're staying at the Hotel Citadines in Shinjuku. It is very typical Tokyo hotel room, very little and small, but so nice and like well put together. And here's our little bathroom. Like every Japan hotel, there is a Japanese super toilet with lots of buttons. Can't wait to figure that out. And here they have like all these nice amenities for us. It's very nice, like the tub, it's good. And then our little bedroom area is so cute and tiny, I think. The bed is very small for American standards and Joe and I being very big people. It's definitely gonna be a cozy couple of nights here. And out here, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh Whoa. my gosh. Look at that down there. And then like look over there with the sunset. I got pretty girl for the pretty view. This girl needs a shower and needs to eat. And I think, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. Oh, so quick update on tonight. We originally were gonna go to the Japanese onsen tonight. We actually can't because um, it's maybe TMI for a lot of you, but I had a little visit from my monthly visitor, if you know what I mean. And you're really not supposed to go to an onsen if you are having that. A visitor. A visitor. <laughs> Um, so we're going to, when we're back in Tokyo on the last day of our trip, a week from now, we're going to do the onsen then. We're staying in the Shinjuku neighborhood, which is this fabulous, like, exactly how you picture Tokyo. All the bright lights and big buildings and like, it's so alive, you know, it feels very New York City-esque, like Times Square-esque in Shinjuku. I'm going to take a shower. I'm disgusting. Okay, we are very jet lagged, so tired. So, like any good person in Tokyo, we got our dinner at 7-Eleven. Yes. Now all you Americans out there don't understand that the 7-Elevens in Japan are not like the 7-Elevens at home. <laughs> they have like hot food, they have like, I mean they have everything you could ever want. Joe and I got quite a good haul. We don't really know what everything is and it's a little complicated with me not being able to eat wheat. Yep. So we're just gonna figure out what we got when we get back to the room. Okay guys, our 7-Eleven haul. We got Little balls with chocolate inside. I definitely can't eat those. Little rice ball that is bacon and egg. Brownie chocolate cookie things. This is the noodle. So these are the noodles I'm not sure if I can eat. They look like clear noodles, like not like wheat noodles. So I'm hoping I can eat them. Joe got these like very spicy looking noodles. She got some meat from the hot bar. I also got little banana chips that are covered in chocolate. Or I got a little fried rice ball. A strong zero, recommended by my sister, and a prime highball, ready for a good time. And all of this put together cost about 17 US dollars, so not a bad haul for your for a dinner when you're super jet lagged and you don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> 